that there are so few pterosaur fossils that the pterosaur, that the pterosaur fossils that we do have are usually not that well preserved. And how it is that, you know, individuals like yourself are working to sort of create this bigger picture based on such limited evidence. Why is it that these fossils may be compared to what we think of like dinosaur fossils? Why is it that these just don't fossilize that well? Well, I, I, there are actually two reasons for that, for that. First, let me just put a little bit into perspective. We have, I mean, the oldest pterosaur that we know of is about 120 million years old, and we think it, they should, they, had, they must have been pterosaurs with at least 130 million years. 66 million years was the last one, so that gives us, help, help me with the math, about 165 million. Okay, so we have roughly 200 species. That's, that's, not, that's not very much over one species per million years. And just like Mark pointed it out, you know, the last three million years you had hundred species of, of, of birds. So, uh, uh, pterosaurs are, are very rare. They're really rare. And we're just scratching on the surface when it comes to understanding that. And there's another problem when it comes to pterosaurs. I, I, I'm absolutely uh, sure that over 90% of all pterosaur material, and maybe between 40, around 40% 40 of all pterosaur diversity, they come from only five places on this planet. That's Germany, uh, it's on limestone, that's the Cambridge Greensand in England, that's the Santana Formation in Brazil, then Niobara Chalk here in North America, and the whole group from China. So only five places in the world accounts for so much of the pterosaur material. So uh, we, we keep thinking about what we're going to learn if we find a nice deposit in Africa with a lot of pterosaurs. So we're just scratching on the surface. And why is that? Number one reason is because they're flying animals. So they're not really in the environment which is uh, good for them to be preserved. Uh, they, they would have to die, they would have to wash into the sea or into the, in the large body of water, it would be uh, earthed very, very, very quickly and then preserved. So that does not really happen with flying animals. And secondly, their boat is very, very thin. They're very thin water bombs. So even so, they are very susceptible to be destroyed. So I think that, that's one of the main reasons. You mentioned that they're most 